Hey guys, it's Hi I am back again and we are going to be looking at some more of my makeup collection. This is single eyeshadows and small palettes. It is not all of my small palettes. It is not all of my singles. Some stuff is in panning, so it's not in these videos because they're kept in a different place. But there you go. So I am just going to get into it. Um, I will start as much as I can with my singles that are in here. So I have a NYX Primal. This one is really pretty. It's bright blue. It is literally called Hot Blue. It, it's really beautiful. It's swatches from other videos. <laughs> It's really beautiful. Um, I have from NYX. This is actually broken, but it's not magnetic, so I haven't been able to stick it in my um, haven't stuck it in my palette because it's actually safer in here. Uh, this is taupe, um, which is just a brown. Um, I have this one from Galactic Beauty. This is pink ruffle which is just this really gorgeous baby pink. It's actually really good on my eyelid. And then I have this gosh shadow, which is in Aubergine, which is this really pretty. I obviously tried to get it out, but it didn't work. <laughs> it's literally a eggplant colour, hence being called Aubergine, I guess. And I think the last single I have in here, most of my other singles are in Z palette type things, is this one. This is from Ardency In. This is Royal, and it is a Royal Purple. And, oh, and it's got hard pan. But yeah. Yeah, it's got hard pan, but it still comes off. Probably doesn't swatch as well because it's got hard pan. It's just been a real douche lately. Do you want to play on the drama? She did close it down, did she? I think she tried to save out of it. It's been doing this thing sometimes where it just. No, it's EA. EA have been. I don't know what's going on with the Origin, but even with um, playing. Um, yeah, when you go to save and shut out of the games, they don't shut down properly. Yeah. And not only that, even in the game, it took me forever to even get into the game. Oh, I don't know either, but I have a feeling it's like the internet. Maybe it's actually worse in the last couple of days. Hmm. I think it's to do with the weather. B. Now we have problems with this miserable weather. Mm hmm. Okay, so I have these ones which look almost like a single eyeshadow, but they're actually not. This is Lawless Lavender from Maybelline Eye Studio. It's one of those ones that's got two colours on it. This one looks slightly lighter than that one. Um, I haven't really played with them too much. They're baked eyeshadows, so, you know, they last forever. And the other one I have is this one, which is Ivy Icon, which is the green version. They did a whole bunch of these. Um, I have some other baked eyeshadows. I have these Anoxa ones. Again, I have two of them. 
So I have Earth, which is black, purple, and blue. How that is Earth, I don't know, but that's literally what that one is called. And I have Forest, which makes a little bit more sense. So it's green, brown, and this kind of duo creamy white cream thingy. What's it? Uh, then I have, I actually have two of this one as well, like not this exact one, but two of the same style um, in my panning. This one is Irresistible Caramel Cream from Essence. The other one I have is Irresistible Chocolates, which funnily enough, both colours end up looking the same. You see these look quite different, um, but I haven't really used them too much. I actually have a ridiculous amount of eyeshadow which you will probably be realising very quickly. I have this one from Coral Colours, which is a bit beat up, because uh, I tried to unpan it. Uh, um, I tried to depot it. This is their Cool Sorbet Trio, which is literally just pastel shades. And um, I'm actually going to get rid of this one, because I'm really not that keen on it. I have this one from Be A Bombshell which I got in, would have been in some subscription box. Uh, this is New York City, which has this really nice green in it. And then it has black and grey and cream. The green's the most interesting thing in there, quite frankly. Um, I have this one from Savvy, which is a designer brand's brand. It is literally, it's like their smoky eye quad. Uh, sorry, trio. It's literally called Smoky Nights. So just a black, a grey, and a... Well, it's almost white, but not quite. Not super exciting, but you know. Uh, I have this very basic quad from Essence, which is really good for just like a basic, very quick eye look, because it's got this great dark matte brown. And you could use that for a lid shade, or that one for a lid shade and highlight. So... That's pretty good. That one is to die for. That's what it's called, not what I'm saying about it. Um, I have this one from Beauty Essentials. This is the Be Bright uh, cord. The little, it had a thing here, but that fell out. But it does have a plastic cover on it. This green is really interesting. It's like a chartreuse and purple. They're like, it's just a really interesting combination. I haven't used it a lot. I've used it a little bit, but it is very interesting. Um, I have this quad, which if you've been watching my channel for a while, you might actually recognize it. This came up in a trying to do my makeup for like $10 or whatever. Um, so this was like a dollar or $2 from... Um, Kmart OXX is the Kmart brand. It doesn't have a name. It, it's just a quad of purple eyeshadows. And they weren't the worst. I mean, there's not a matte in there, but they weren't the worst eyeshadows I've ever used. And, you know, bargain basement cheap. So, um, they're not terrible. They're not great, but they're not terrible. Uh, this is my Maybelline Luminous Lights quad. As you can see, two of them have quite a bit of pan in them. I was like panning this last year. This is not my favourite palette, um, but these colours are quite useful for highlighty type colours. Um, yeah, so I'm not really going to get rid of it. As I'm probably not going to do a lot of um, decluttering out of this stuff because eyeshadow is just eyeshadow. This one's a designer brand's one. This is Moon Shadow. It's a fairly basic uh, quad. Pretty similar to some of the other ones that I've got. But, you know, without playing... I'm one of those people I just I can't without playing with it for a bit first and see what it's like. Uh, this one's from Alme. And for some reason it still has its thing in it. Normally I get rid of those. <laughs> this blue is beautiful. It's a very nice, deep navy blue. It's a pity these don't actually have a matte in them. Other than that, they're great trios. Um, that one is Intense 
eye colour for blue eyes. I don't actually have blue eyes. I have grey eyes, but I can get away with it. Uh, I'm actually going to get rid of this one. This one came from Born Pretty Store. It was like, I got a grab bag from the beauty section and this was in it. And, I mean, they're not the, the, the worst eyeshadows ever, but they're not great. And, yeah. Um, that one can go... I have, this This is one of my newer ones, I got this from Tamara, this is the Essence Happy Girls Are Pretty, this is their basic, it, it's a super basic palette, but who cares, it's, I mean this is perfect for setting primer, it's like the perfect colour for that, and it's just really simple. Yeah, there's no matte for, like, crease, but this is not super shimmery, so you could use that to do your crease. Or even this one, if you want a lighter look. Um, that one is Happiness is Following Your Heart. Not terrible at all. This one is another Kmart one. Uh, this is their other, the other brand that they do. Again, just a really basic neutral palette. I have quite a few of these. Um, this one is the Models Co. one. Uh, this would have probably come in a subscription box or something like that. Um, it looks a little on the chunky side, but clearly I haven't played with it too much. I think I've used this shadow and swatched these two. <laughs> Need to play with it a bit more. But again, a good basic pad palette. Um, this is, oh, these actually have names. This is Bronzed Goddess, and it has, um, don't know which way around they go, but Mal, the one in the middle is St. Bart's. And then there's the Maldives and Jamaica, so I'm thinking that's the Mal, Maldives, St. Bart's, and Jamaica. They actually went to the trouble of naming them. Which is almost weird, because... Most of the rest of them don't bother doing that. Not my small palettes, anyway. <laughs> Not that I know of. Um, never really looked too hard. This one is from Alme. It used to have a um, cream eye base in here, which I took out. This is a really cool green colour. I really like that one. Um, this one is in Revive. Then we are getting down to the last of my small palettes. This is a Calvin Klein eyeshadow palette. <laughs> Literally has two shadows in it, a cream and a brown. And that's it. Just a little duo. The mirror is fantastic. Um, this is Creamy Brown. It's literally its name, Creamy Brown. Good job, Calvin Klein. Really tried hard. These are three of my four MAC eyeshadows. Um, my fourth one didn't come in here. It's navy, um, and it's somewhere else. This I got from Tamara J as well. I don't know which one this is. The sticker's not on the back. Um, I do know that one of these, because you can get these out, um, one of these is, I think, Tempting Taupe or something is the name of it. Um, but, yeah. Um, but that's, they're just basic, just basic colours. And lastly, we have my only Coastal Scents, um, other than a couple of little trial ones, which I don't know what I did with them. I might have got rid of them. Um, this is the Cairo Go palette. They're just, just a very basic neutral palette. I got this in a subscription box. Um, I have no idea what these shadows are like. I haven't really played with them other than to swatch a couple of them. So, yeah, no idea. Maybe I'll pan this next year. I'd get pretty bored pretty quickly, though. I'd need a couple of palettes if I did that. <laughs> Uh, yeah, so that is it for this video of my small palettes. Um, only getting rid of two things, but that's fine. Um, yeah, so if you want to subscribe, click the button down there, click the bell if you want to get notified of when I upload new videos. 
leave me a thumbs up if you like makeup type videos and leave me a comment down below. I try to respond to all comments and I'll see you in my next video. See ya!